The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman coach Tom Griffin, I'm Mike Watchering on CNEagles.com as the Eagles pick up an 11-10 walk-off victory against the King Tornado. And coach, you score the game's first eight runs. They come back, they tie the score. You take a 10-8 lead, they come back in the ninth, they tie the score. Jimmy Rice hits that walk-off hit after he committed an error in the top half of the inning. Again, we talked a little bit about it on Saturday, kind of a redemptive situation for Paul Kirby and Kate Snap on Saturday. Today, Jimmy Rice takes an opportunity to, to get a little bit of quick quicker redemption than those two did on Saturday. Well, was, you know, you get an eight-run lead, um, but these are midweek games. They, You know how these can go, and they get a lot of credit. They Every ball was hit. They, yeah. they found holes. They hit the ball hard. I thought that was a pretty good offensive club. I told Coach Brown and Coach Howard, I think, offensively, man, there's some there's some pop in that lineup, and they did a great job. In that inning, I don't think we had many errors. It was just they were finding holes. Um, now, credit to them for that. We probably pitched down the middle a little bit too too much. Uh, weren't able to work the, the corners a little bit, um, but that, that's baseball. The key is, once they got back in it, how did we respond to that adversity? And uh, obviously, we're, we're very thrilled about what our guys did. Perez, you know, Valentine came in in that one inning, and he struggled. But he went out and gave us two shutout innings, which is crucial for a young man to learn how to bounce back. So we're very happy for him, how he responded. Perez did a good job for us. You know, we talked about it inside. It, it wasn't our best game. We were a little sloppy out there in the field. But the key is when you don't play your best and you're still able to come with a victory, that's a good thing. I, that's a good sign of a good team. And, and we hung in there. And um, Jimmy had a good day today, you know, on, at the plate. And that was a good piece of hitting right there with two strikes. We talked about two out hits and two strike hits, and, and he came through for us. Yeah, you had eight two out hits in those first couple innings. You were really taking care of business with two outs. And then Trevor Lee, a great job throughout the day. I yeah. think he had three hits and then started things off in the ninth inning. Again, guys at that bottom portion of the lineup taking care of business today. Well, they did, and, and Trevor did. I thought Zach Gentry did a good job. Zach runs uh, very well and puts a little more pressure um, when he's running, you know, even a ground ball. There were two uh, errors, I think, on, on uh, balls he hit. So he provided us some speed there at the bottom, and Trevor had a good day. You got to have balance in your lineup. It can't always be the Addington, the Rice, and uh, Roberts and Kirby's. Other guys have to pick it up, and uh, today you did see that. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it was, you know, anytime you win a game in the bottom of the ninth, it's exciting. Um, and credit to them for coming back into it, um, and then they're going to they're play very well down the stretch in their conference. But it was a good win as we continue to try to keep getting better each day and handling all the things that come about. It's a quick turnaround with Shorter tomorrow. What's the preparation like for uh, another midweek game? The key to us right now is this thing: they got to take care of themselves. Now we got you know we're 19 days left, and now they've got to make sure they're taking care of their bodies getting rest, getting the right fluids, right nutrition in their body, uh, and, and take care of themselves down the stretch here. They gotta make sacrifices and, and, and getting the, enough sleep. Um, you know, they've got their studying and exams will start coming up and research papers. So this is what a student athlete's all about. This is why hiring a student athlete is more of an advantage than just hiring a student because the student don't have to deal with that. But the student athlete has to deal with all this going on and yet balance the academics. That's why when you hire a Carson Newman baseball player, you're getting an exemplary type uh, person. 